Hey, I'm not so a strainer, and what happened to the people of Celestica? Let's get into it. While we thought we were going to see or be part of the first civilization in Sinnoh slash history when we played this game, that wasn't the case. Pokemon Legends Arceus takes us to a time in between, a time after the people of Celestica were already gone, their home left in ruins. But what could have destroyed such an important civilization, keepers of all the secrets of Almighty Sinnoh? Before we ask that question though, we have to ask another. Who were the people of Celestica? The people of Celestica were the ancient people of Hisui, presumably the original civilization of that land. They worshipped Arceus and built all the ruins you see on your adventure through the Hisui region, including the Spear Pillar, or as it was known then, the Temple of Sinnoh. According to Kojita, who is also of Celestican descent, if not an actual original Celestican herself, we'll get to that later, this civilization lived there one or two millennia before the events of Pokemon Legends Arceus, but eventually left, never to return. The game never lets us know this directly though, it leaves hints scattered around the Hisui region for us to piece together and maybe get a glimpse of what actually happened, and those are the old verses. According to the old verses, we can see that this wasn't the first time that history was in danger. Old verse 10 says, "'Twas long ago he earned the name Hero. He led his retinue, ten Pokémon against the Almighty and Knowable. In battle did his valiance proclaim at last the strength of humble humankind. The great and knowable approved this feat and to its domain of no place returned. The Almighty and Knowable, to me, can be one of two Pokémon, Arceus or Giratina. So I'm pretty sure it is the latter. According to old verse number 3, no claws nor fangs, no strength to claim. No man could hope to hold his own to mighty Pokemon. But bolts of light rained down one day, ten times they fell, ten times struck true upon ten Pokemon. Then to weak man did this ten turn, his strength to be, and all were blessed by loyal Pokemon. Were not these bolts a gift to man, were they not your almighty grace, great Sino Paragon? This makes me think that the Celesticans were under attack and Arceus prepared these Pokemon, the original nobles, giving them strength and wardens, weak men as the author says, to have them there waiting for the hero to come and use them against the attack by the almighty and noble, which, after defeat, would return to its domain of no place, in other words, the void or the distortion world, where Kiratina is locked. And maybe, just maybe, this is where the tables turn for the Celesticans. Not feeling safe in their own home anymore, they decided to depart in search of a safer place, a place we have known since the days of Pokemon Heart Gold and Pokemon Soul Silver, Sinjo. According to Old Verse 12, wintry austere, brimming with strange power, certainly the land of Hisui bears some resemblance to Sinjo. Here where the ancient Sinnoh people were born, I will spend an eternity, until the one with the mission appears. This leads me to believe that the people of Celestica had already founded Sinjo, together with the people from the Ruins of Olf in Joro. This also begs the question if Joro is actually the name given to a deity and not originally the name of the region, considering that we know that Sinnoh was a name given to Arceus by the people of Celestica. With this evidence, we can assume that that's where the majority of the Celesticans spent their final days, and that the author of the poems eventually returned to Hisui, trying to find something or someone, as we can read in old verse number 2. O you who at the world's far off end dwell, I know your wish, it is my wish as well. My own beloved is now gone from me, departed to a place I cannot reach. My old companions have left me behind, their faces faded into days gone by. Still to my breast I clutch this hopeless dream, a futile wish for us once more to meet. O you who at the world's far off end dwell, I know your wish, it is my wish as well. But towers are cold and endless winter days, warmed only by memories locked away. I believe the author to be Kojita, who appears to have left with the rest of the Celesticans and eventually returned to Hisui. She talks about her ancestors and how she is a keeper of the knowledge they left. The beloved she speaks of can be a lot of things, though I believe it to be either Arceus or Inamorus. That's because old verse number 17 says, Once there was a god of field and once there was a god of spring. Upon Hisui's wings he wailed, brought life to every growing thing. Where go you when you are not here? Asked I one day the god of spring. No answer would it give me clear, but still did I have an inkling. There is no great dark truth untold, it simply does not like the cold. 
Kojita clearly has a deep relationship with Inamoras, a Pokemon that dislikes the cold, leaving when winter days come and coming back only to bring the spring. While winter days might mean old age, I think it has a more literal meaning here. I had another theory about the beloved being the original hero, and that the far off land was Unova, since the heroes seem to be related to Alder, but I think this one fits here better because of Kojita's relationship with Inamoras. As Kojita traveled alone through the region of Hisui, she started to see things change before her eyes, as we can see in Old Verse number 5. Long and longer yet ago, Celestica was here, but folk and town alike both did disappear. In time came new folks sailing, sailing across the sea, called by their love for Sino, great and almighty. But different were the Sino that each folk did all dear, and bitter strife and angry war were always at the near. Celestica they call themselves, the name not theirs to take, yet claim it from the past they did for tragic quarrel's sake. So once again did our name leave, though all our people gone, but even if the name endures, its heart does not live on. This refers to the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan, attempting to carry the duties of the Celestica, though to her, that name didn't belong to them, for they were all gone, a name to be left to history, only remembered in tales. So, what happened to Celestica? I believe Celestica was destroyed when the rift opened for the first time. Even with the heroes saving them, they left to find peace in Sinjo, and eventually tradition faded. I don't believe everyone from Celestica perished, though I do believe they scattered around the world and their worship for Arceus became tame. For example, while Volo seems to strike a resemblance to Kojita, he is never acknowledged as related to her, which makes me think that he is the child of one of those that scattered from Sinjo and made another region their home. His curiosity brought him back to his family's roots and eventually to ruin. Kojita, on the other hand, is part of the original Celesticans, coming back to the region with a mission, or in her case, a burden, the burden of eternal life until she could pass the knowledge to the new hero. Eventually, in time, more people will come back to the region searching for those same family roots and creating Celestic Town, just like the grandparents from Drasna from the Kalos Elite 4 or Cynthia's grandmother, who completed their task of passing the knowledge to the hero in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl or Pokemon Diamond, Pearl and Platinum. And so, the cycle will continue with Cynthia eventually being tasked of the same, in case the destruction of our world becomes a risk once more. And that's what I think happened to the people of Celestica. This was my longest theory video, so I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any other ideas or a theory of your own, let me know in the comments down below. Now, like the video if you like it, dislike if you don't, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. Also, ring the bell so you know when the next video is out. You can follow me on social media and Twitch, I stream there Thursday to Sunday, or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.